Humans can navigate by starlight, but did you know that birds can too? Hi everyone, astrobiologist here. Let's go on a journey. Astronomy is the world's oldest science. It was developed alongside agriculture so that farmers could tell what time of the year it was to plant and harvest and so on. But animals have yearly patterns as well, especially animals that migrate. Now, you may be asking yourself, how did we figure this out? Did we just release a bunch of birds into a planetarium? And the answer is yes, that's exactly what we did. Sometimes science is just effing around. Back in 1958, a pair of German scientists figured out that some birds actually do use the constellations to orient themselves as they fly. But the big question was, what constellations are they using? Professor Stephen Emden of Cornell wanted to know, so he took American indigo buntings and put them in little cages inside of a planetarium. The cages had indicators so he could tell what direction they were trying to fly. Then he projected the night sky and started blacking out constellations one by one. But that didn't work. No matter what constellation he blacked out, the birds still knew where to go. It wasn't until he blacked out every single constellation near Polaris, the North Star, that birds started getting confused. So what are birds actually following in the night sky that help them orient themselves? It turns out that it's not just the constellation, but it's the way that the constellations rotate around the North Star throughout the night. And then also showed that if you raise baby birds to think that a different star is Polaris, they'll follow that star as well. Now, some birds can also sense magnetic fields. They know where the sun is. They know what different environments smell like. So it's not all about the stars. But that's pretty wild, honestly. Astronomy is one of the oldest sciences, but it's also not exclusive to human beings. Thanks for tuning in. If you like my video, consider subscribing and keep an eye out for my upcoming book, Life in Seven Numbers, available next summer through Princeton University Press.